Hi, good morning, Daisy. How are you? Doing well. Good morning and greetings to you too, Marcus. All right, good morning. Good morning, um, everyone. Uh, my name is Marcus Benjamin, and I'm the CEO founder of AM Career Consulting. And today we have um, Candace Patterson, and um, she will be sharing with us some really, really interesting things that, you know, what she's doing as far as her career is concerned. And we're going to just spend some time with her today and um, give her give an opportunity to share with all of you um what she's been up to all right so miss daisy can i call you daisy thank you for having me <laughs> you're welcome you're welcome i could call you daisy or can daisy you can call me daisy all right i just want to make sure we're on the right path no problem all right so thank you for joining um joining the, the call today um just want to take the opportunity you know to give you you know the plat a platform in which you can kind of share with the viewers what you have been up to you know um who is that who is candace patterson and career wise what have you been doing um you know so share with us who who is candace patterson good morning everyone my name is candace patterson i currently work in the airline industry and i've been I've had about 20 years of experience. I enjoy what I do. However, I was always very passionate about event planning and floral design. So um, up until recently, I started to pursue what my passion. I did various training courses and I am ready to launch. Nice, very impressive. And we know that, um, you know, career is something that you know, sometimes we take a lot of time to actually get to where we really want to be, right? And as pertains to career identification, you know. So I, I know you mentioned about, you know, getting into event planning and, you know, all those sort of stuff. How did that come about? Ever since I was a child, I was always passionate, but I just didn't know how to launch out. So I decided to take a leap of faith this year after getting training and getting encouragement. I, um, I'm a child of faith, so I, of course, talked to God about it. And then I said, you know what? I think this is my year. This is my season. And I'm going to step out in faith and I'm going to launch my event company, which is called Premier Events and Design. Okay. Can you just repeat it one more time so all the viewers can hear it? Yes. The name of the business. Sure. The name of the business is Premier Events and Design. The reason why I call it Premier Events is because even though someone may give me an idea about something and it might look similar to different designs that people may have seen, for me, I always add a little twist or I enhance it. So every time your event is, um, is debuted, or I do a piece for you, it's always a premiere. It's like a first time thing. It's something exciting. So that's why I came up with the name Premier Events and Designs. Okay, awesome. And um, do you specialize in any one thing or share with us what, what kind of events that um, you, you do, you know, what you do for your clients? Okay, weddings, baby showers, corporate events. And recently, I was going to get into trade shows, but my passion is more towards the weddings and baby showers, parties, uh, and the corporate events. Okay. So, this is a burning question. Since you've been doing this, um, what are some of the roadblocks? What are some of the challenges that you could share with the viewers? Because we all know in businesses, you know, it looks good on the surface. But we know it's a lot of work that's that's involved in the in you know be in the background and you know when the lights are off and um, you know when you're not on stage or when your work is not on stage. Help the viewers understand some of the challenges or the difficulties you have faced uh, this far. Well, planning is a very broad industry. And there are a lot, uh, there's a lot of competition within the industry. So sometimes when people don't know you, they're not sure to trust your design. 
So my challenge is getting the, the clients to trust that I can um, execute a design for them or I can plan for them. Because they will always compare you to, you know, other planners, well, this one did this and this one did that. And sometimes you just have to let them know, they have to build that trust with them and let them know that, you know, you can do this for them. Okay, but um, one of the things, um, have referrals been been um, something that's beneficial for you? Have you been working off or getting business from referrals or have you been um, spending some time on social media, probably, you know, with Instagram or whatever the case is, you know, to help build your business? What are some of the things you've been doing to help um, get over those challenges? Referrals are always great, but I feel that knowing that the time that we live in, social media does play a very important part. Right. To have your business echo. People must hear about you. And remember, you're dealing with different types of people. You have your, your baby boomers who are like, okay, it's for the month, okay, fine, we know her. But then the millennials, they're on Snapchat, they're on Instagram. They like to see things quickly and they want to, like, when they type in your name, they must see something and then say, okay, I will choose her, I will not choose her. So social media plays a bigger part with getting your name out today. I believe that. I had to okay. that. I mean, it's good to, to stay in your circle, yes, and you get, okay, your friends and then, you, you know, but it's okay. But it, for me, getting the exposure is better. With Instagram, for example, I have people who follow me from, Paris and Germany and all these different countries. And I was like, wow, you know, I can't just limit myself to the US. It's good that other parts of the world are seeing my work and I'm getting that exposure. So I guess, I guess it's safe to say um, due to the um, internet and, and the web and everything, the world really, really has, um, has become smaller, you know, for you to be, for you to be connected with people from, from um you know different parts of the world and have them following your work and so forth i guess it really proves that um the world is smaller than we think yes but what i would also encourage people to do get the training there's a big difference okay you might see a designer and said okay wow that is so good but when you get training it makes your work easier it takes off hours from your work like when I went to school and I did draping, I used to, you know, you're putting all these pins and trying to get things together to run it across a pole. And after getting my training, I realized that I could connect with a particular company and they pre-make your drapes. So all you need to do is to get your pipe and drape kit and you can slide everything across and it's amazing how you can put up a backdrop. Your goal is to get it in 15 minutes. Sometimes it used to take me two and three hours to put the backdrop mm -hmm. if you try to thin this hair and put this hair and all these challenges after receiving the training i realized that my life became so much easier right then what also happens is that the inventory that you have the things that you thought that you could use okay i need this and i need this you realize after you get that training and you get all this stuff pre-made and life looks so much easier you tend to diminish your inventory which is something i had to do i i call it my form of spring cleaning or um, in the house, I had to get rid of some of the stuff. I said, I really don't need this after because this hair is going to waste my time. When you learn the training, you could do two and three backdrops within a day. You could go to different events. If you could choose to do your big event in one venue, or you could set up your backdrops. Okay, I'm here. I, I, okay, I'm going to go, I don't know, 20 minutes away, set up another thing. And then it's so easy. You can preset your lighting. I mean, it's amazing what training can do. People, right. Yeah, because you could use, let's say, like a white fabric. And everybody thinks, oh, my gosh, you're using this white fabric. Well, how are they going to get it pink? Okay, you put a light under there. You preset your light to pink. Your wedding starts at 4 o'clock. You can put a timer on for your lights. And then, okay, wedding starts at 4 at 3.45. The whole room is pink. I don't have to run and plug in things and running, going crazy. You preset. Life is made easier with right. and with exposure. Okay. 
Thanks for sharing that. Um, a question, I um, we all know that, you know, graduation, you know, some, some kids are still graduating. Um, and I think college graduation, uh, for the most part, probably have been completed. So you have, you have thousands not, and also millions of college students across the United States of America um, who, you know, just came out, they got a degree, you know, career-wise, some of them might be indecisive, not sure what direction to turn in, um, really haven't taken the time to identify what they want to do. You know, they probably might like something that you're doing, right? As far as um, your career path, you know, what can you share with, um, with these college students, you know, if, if, if they come across this video, how can you encourage them you know, to get to, to, um, to where they really want to go and what they really want to do as far as career is concerned? Um, first of all, you have to, you have to, um, you need guidance in everything that you do. That, that is just my thing. You, everyone needs guidance. You need to, um, have preparation. For me, like I said before, formal training, is always required. Um, I would say getting yourself into um, even a company or with someone like yourself with um, a career consultant, because I could tell you from my personal experience, it has helped me. Sometimes you, you feel you know everything and yet you're still limited. And when it comes through you and kind of pushes you to let you know that you know what you can uplift yourself maybe this is a this is a different path that you can try and having a career coach or you know a career consultant it helps you to kind of define who you are in a way sometimes we're very lost we're confused and sometimes you just need that person to guide you into the right direction as the way you need to go Okay, well, but would you say it's safe um, in your industry? Would you encourage um, someone who has uh, a passion for, if it's floral designing or event planning, whatever it is, would you encourage them to get into that field? Can, can, they, can it become a career for, for a young person who's coming out of college or you know, someone who's trying to make a career change and just have a passion, just as you had the passion. Yes, I would encourage them. But what I would definitely push for, you must get the proper training. Right. Training, it makes your life easier. I would okay. encourage it wholeheartedly. Sometimes you think you know everything about flowers. I thought I knew everything about flowers. Until I had a professional tell me, you know, you thought, but it, I'm telling you, sometimes even with, okay, I would do a bouquet and sometimes it would take me about an hour. When I went to my training, he took the steps, my, my, um, my teacher, he took the steps and showed us how to do this bouquet. And it was what, four or five hours a day and just executed one thing. I said, oh my gosh, this is so timely. On my last day of class, we had a test where we had to design an entire wedding. And I was shocked to know that I can uh, design an entire wedding. I mean, bridal bouquet, toss bouquet, all this stuff set to pieces in less than 45 minutes with training, where one bouquet was taking me an hour. So wow. I could design a complete wedding within that short space of time. It's all about training. Knowing is fine. Thinking, you know, I don't mind that. <laughs> right. training, I can't stress it enough. Makes your life easier. And once you get the proper training, you'll even become more passionate because now every time I look, you know, now you can look at the design, you can walk in a store. Before I would just say, oh wow, that's pretty. And then one thing my professor told me, he says, do you want pretty design or do you want wow? He says, I, my clients, I like wow. Right. The 
oh my gosh and the tear. So do you want a, a pretty design or do you want to wow them? And right. then we go over things, you're like, wait a second, a lot of times I was seeing there's a pretty design and I'm thinking, well, that's good. And then when I got the training, I said, oh, this is how you wow them. So I can't stress enough. Even though you come out of college, you may have your business degree and all of that stuff. That is all good. Get the proper training. Okay, well, all right. All right, everyone, you all hear it from, uh, from Candace Patterson. Get the necessary training. Make the investment in yourself. Um, yeah. It goes a long way. Um, it's a small course towards um, achieving, achieving your goal and making sure that you put forth a, a really strong product and something that can make people's lives different. So, yeah. Candace, yeah, I, um, I'm aware that you're going to be sharing a, a piece with us today. Um, I'm not sure what it is but can you what 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 you have for us today oh sure what's the show of viewers this little item right here it's a wow. okay what this is this is a simple design this is just six a six flower bouquet if what's this know, name sorry what is what name you gave it what it's a six flower bouquet very simple six flower bouquet okay I use hydrangea, I use three hydrangeas, and I use um, three roses. Put them in the middle. This is a more, um, more of a bouquet for, I would say, like a bridesmaid. However, if there's a bride that cannot afford a more elaborate bouquet, here's the trick again. Six simple roses. And all I did was add thyme lemon leaves. I wow. added design, I added lemon leaves, it made it look more full, and there you have it. So how long this took you to make? It looks, it looks this, very beautiful. This hair was less than 15 minutes. Less than 15 minutes? Less than 15 minutes. So, so let me ask, if you did not um, um, took that investment or put that investment in place as far as going to get the, the proper um training how long it would have taken you to put together well i tell you what would have probably happened i would not have probably would not have used this much leaves it probably would not have looked as full right probably wasted time looking all over for different items but you have to know what to, you have to know your tools lemon leaves always make your design look full so that's the okay. one thing Using wow. these, of, yeah, using these type of, it always makes it okay look full. So you, before I would say, okay, yeah, I'm just gonna put this together. I'm, and then enhancing it with other leaves because there's another one that's right inside there. So it doesn't just have to be the lemon leaves alone, the green. You can add different greens within your design and make it more uniform. So it, are those flowers seasonal or or something that you can find year round? Hydrangeas, you can find all the time, but it depends on the color. You have different colors for different seasons. This is actually a royal blue theme wedding. And that's another mm -hmm. thing to design. Not because it's royal blue, you have to put everything royal blue. You can use variations of blue, add your greens and add your whites, and you could still make it look colorful and, um, and still um, execute your theme. Okay, so out of curiosity, Yes. Um, you can answer or you cannot answer. Something like that, what is the cost in making and then what is the cost in if, if you have to sell something like that, a piece this, like that? This bouquet is about $45, $45 to what, $50. What, the cost of putting it together or the cost That's of selling it? The cost of selling it. This is about $45 to $50. Okay. So when people think flowers, they think, oh my gosh, you know, it's going to be so expensive. But like I said, if you want to get something more elaborate, you see, I just used the one hydrangea and then I added simple roses in between. Roses are a little um, less costly than the hydrangeas. So that's right. what up. But then with adding the lemon leaves, I made it more full. So you don't right. feel like, oh, you know, it doesn't feel kind of, you know, I, should, I don't want to say cheap, but you don't feel like, you know, 
less of a of, of a bride or a bridesmaid but typically a bridesmaid would use this okay now, okay yeah now another thing you can do with this piece here if you um if you have a wedding and okay you you the you can't afford uh let's say centerpieces but you have to do this quickly you can take these same um the same bouquet and lay it on the table right where the bridesmaid is sitting at that head table you can lay this right along the head table mm. that you can use it you could use it as a toss bouquet and if you want to store it for a long time all you can do is add it to so if, if I could interject, I heard you say something about a toss bouquet. Yeah. For for the viewer's sake, what is a toss bouquet? Toss bouquet is what the bride um, tosses when you when you're at coming to the countdown of the wedding, so she wouldn't give away her bouquet. This oh, is okay. Toss for the um, for the bridesmaid, the single ladies in the party, when they play <laughs> with young or whatever, whoever you want to play. So you can use this as one of those bouquets. It's called a toss bouquet. Okay. So viewers, you all um, get a better understanding of what a toss bouquet is. So all those ladies out there who um, who didn't have an idea, now you do have an idea. And, you know, please, um, you know, if you are planning an event and you know, you need an event planner, you know, I'm going to ask Candace again, just to share with everyone the name of her business. And also if she has any contact information, you know, that you can, um, that, you know, you, people can reach you. So can you share with us um, the name again and um, any contact information? Sure. The name of my business is Premier Event and Design. You can contact us at premier events designs at gmail.com or I'm on Instagram at premier events design. That is P R E M I E R E events and then just design at that's on Instagram. My contact number is 646 342 3402. All right, thank you. Um, you have any any other pieces you wanted to share with us before we wrap up today? <laughs> um, actually, there's a piece right behind me. That's on the wall. That's on the wall. It's a swag. Very very simple. You know, sometimes and, and and this was another technique that I had loved also when I um went to school. Sometimes you think, oh my gosh, all this stuff to get it together. Very simple. You get your roses. Are those real? This one is artificial. Okay. Same technique with artificial and real roses. Stems on roses tend, tend to break. Right. You wonder, oh my gosh, how do they keep all these roses together? Well, it's very simple. You just get some floral wire. You put the floral wire through the roses. Pull it down. You add some floral tape and you just connect. And you connect the first piece. You add in your greens, you connect, you add, you connect, you add. This here, it, it was used, it's actually a swag, but you can also use it as um, a piece like what I did here. You could take it down, you could even add it as um, a centerpiece for an event that you're having. There's so many uses to it. Wow, uh, really impressive, really, really impressive. I know I saw it up there, but you know, I didn't know that um, you made that. That's really, really nice. I'm looking at it, and it looks real from, from here. Yes, that's because, it, it, like I said, there's all these different things you learn, the types of flowers to use, where to buy the flowers. There's such a booming industry with flowers. Um, if you go down 28th Street in the wholesale district, forget it. You're in floral land. All <laughs> things that you could use to maintain your flowers. There's a lot of things involved in maintaining. A matter of fact, I just added um, the same piece in some water. The key to keeping your roses long, this is a trick, gentlemen. I'm gonna tell the gentlemen and I'm gonna, you must clip the ends of the roses every two days. Oh. Water and your stems must not touch the bottom of the vase. Oh, didn't know that. When your stems touch the bottom of your vase, or if you have leaves 
inside of your vase. It lets off a gas and it kills your flowers quickly. So your flower, when you, when you set your flowers, you must not have leaves inside of the vase, number one, and you must clip your ends, not let them, the, sorry, not the stems touch. And every two days you keep clipping and changing your water. It will help it to last longer. This is the second week for this bouquet. This second bouquet was, week? Yes, this bouquet was made last week. Wow, it looks like it just made yesterday. It looks yes. very fresh. Absolutely. If you keep clipping and do it, you can get, you can probably get about three weeks out of this. And did you add any, any additives or anything to the water or it's just pure water? It's just another secret, another top secret, just a drop, a tiny drop of bleach. Bleach? Bleach. Oh. A teeny bitty drop in here, just a little inside here and that's every week or that's just once for the, the lifespan of the your water you add just a tip in here and how and often how often do you change the water every two days every two days two days you change the water and you must clip the ends of the stems wow two days and it will help to maintain it wow all that sugar and all that salt and all this stuff people want to add to water, no. Just a tip bit, just a drop. Oh, well, thanks for sharing that secret with, with us, um, Candace. Um, that's one more time for the viewers before we break away. Um, your contact information, so in that way, um, if anyone needs to reach you, um, they can definitely give you a call. If you could just highlight the name of the business, uh, any contact information, one more time for the viewers. Okay, it is Premier Events and Design. That's the name of my company. On Instagram, it's Premier Events Design. P-R-E-M-I-E-R-E E-V-E-N-T-S -E -E Design. That's what it is on Instagram. Or it's Premier Events Design at gmail.com. And the contact number? 646-342-3402. All right, everyone, um, this is Candace Patterson um, spending some time with, with me today. Um, again, um, if you have any information, please uh, make sure that you, you contact Daisy. She did share the information a couple of times. Um, you know, any floral needs or event needs, please give her a call. And as far as any career, um, changes or career identification, you know, feel free to contact um, me, Marcus Benjamin, at 347-248-5727, or you can send us an email at careerteam at amcareerconsulting.com. The name of my company is A&M Career Consultant, and our goal is to, to help our clients um, achieve their dream job. Um, we are versed in a number of different areas. Um, we help our clients with career identification, um, helping them to build a strong career dossier, which consists of their resume, cover letter, LinkedIn profile, and a 30, 60, 90 day action plan. We also help our clients with, with um, the interview process, as far as mock interviews, getting them ready, um, utilizing top-notch technology to help our clients with the one-way interview process, the virtual face-to-face -face process, and then ultimately um, getting you ready for the actual face-to-face. -face. All right, so this, com this concludes our session today. My name is Marcus Benjamin, the CEO of a and Career Consulting, and I'm here with Daisy Candace Patterson. And thank you, Daisy, for sharing. Thank you for Morning. You're welcome. Thank you for sharing your part of your morning with us. And um, what a beautiful piece. Um, I After the call, I will give you the address so you can send me that bouquet. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. A beautiful piece. All right, everyone. Thank you. I appreciate your time. Have a good day. Bye, everyone. See you later, Daisy. All best of luck with, with your with your with your event business. Thank you. All right. Take care. Okay. Take care.